Naked Pandas against uh, Renegade Rugby. Back to the Men's Open. It's Renegade Rugby in the green and black strip. And the Naked Pandas in their, whatever you want to call it, their comic book art strip. Renegade Rugby coming up with it from the scrum. keeping possession at the moment but uh, going absolutely nowhere the pandas stifling them in midfield and that's going to be called surely a maul in a moment yes it has indeed been called the maul and uh, the side that took the ball into the maul i.e. the naked pandas giving up uh, the the scrum and giving up the right to feed the scrum. So pandas will have the scrum. Marker right, the scrum half. Both sides struggling to make any impression. Very scrappy at the moment. And uh, there's the line out. Well, that wasn't straight either. So a real mess. And Pandas come back and they'll get uh, a scrum just inside their own halves. for the, uh, the kick out uh, left quickly onto it is uh, the renegade rugby yeah but not allowed to take a quick one it's going to have to now be a formal line out maybe you're allowed to take a quick line out uh, if nobody else has touched the ball and you regain it they did that but uh, it was covered off there was nowhere for them to go Marco Wright going down the short side. Well, he big show. Can he get it down? Holds it up. Cleverly done. Just a metre short. Did, can he get it down? Oh, and he's gone to... <laughs> A video replay he's asking for to see whether the the ball was uh, put down or not. Consulting with his assistant referee on this side. Try given. After consultation, the try was given.
Well, I'm got to say I, I'm uh, pleased that didn't go any further because I'm not sure we'd have had a camera that would have covered it and offered any more evidence in any case. Sails uh, straight into touch. driven right through from the back and the referee quite happy with that chance now for the naked panda away goes uh, number three Pearson and uh, he's in under the post so they're back in it the conversion's good too so 7-5 now Sorry, I don't know where I went on that one. That was another score for Naked Pandas. It's Naked Pandas winning 12-0. Another good attacking position for them. It'll be renegade rugby ball, but uh, they're very much on the defensive. <laughs> he took his own man by surprise as much as the opposition. Good reactions to hold on to the ball. Now they're making some real ground. Good setup. Coming in from deep, hitting the line hard. Will Adams, number 11, driving it up. Oh, so nearly an interception, but this time it's paid off. Into touch, just a few meters short. Well, he looks absolutely spent after that run, doesn't he? Referee coming back and can't take the quick line out. Topping the captain. He finds his mark. Trying to go forward through Dimlin. Now, if Renegade Rugby are going to get back into this, they need to do something while they're deep in Naked Panda territory. But so far, unable to turn territory into points. Big kick to clear the Lions. Bounces well for Renegade. Well, he's got to be penalised there for holding on, and he certainly is just clinging on on the floor. No support. Got to release it.
nice little offload. That was well controlled. In the hands of Stone, number 83. Pass gone to ground. Picked up, but a good tackle by Renegade. That went forward, though. And the captain can't come away with it. Half time, a healthy lead though. Naked Panda leading Renegade Rugby 12 0. The, the Wyvern Harlequins, fresh from their 34 12 win against the Shredded Ducks. And you made hard work of it. Two tries conceded at the start of the second half made it a bit difficult. Yeah, we, uh, we got a tendency of starting a bit slower than what we finished, but uh, we knew we were a bit of a fitter team than them, so we ground the first half out and then we, uh, we ran away with it in the second half. Uh, so, yeah, happy with that performance. Well, you've always had a bit of a rivalry with the Shredded Ducks. Last year as well, they gave you a bit of a, bit of a sticking in, so uh, how did it feel to get one over on them today? Uh, oh, we, we knew before the game about the rivalry, so we did mention that, but uh, we were just said if we get stuck in from the off getting their heads, we know what they like. They, uh, we start to blow through cannons, so uh, yeah, we we done well, fair play, finished strong, so uh, yeah, good, well, good finish to go into tomorrow now. Okay, and coming into this uh, competition this weekend, was the uh, goal to always win it? Do you think you can come away with the, the cash prize at the end? Oh yeah, definitely, we've been uh, winners uh, two years ago, we won the social, well, the open competition twice, so, you know, we, we've been pretty strong in this uh, tournament the last couple of years, and any tournament we enter, we always try to win, so uh, yeah, it's looking good at the moment. Yeah, anybody especially to look out for in your team coming up for the finals day tomorrow? Yeah, well, Kyle, Kyle Evans, our winger, he's, uh, he's dangerous. We just need to give him a bit more ball. We've, we've been a bit direct at the minute, but I think if we just give it to him early, he can eat the ground up and uh, he's very dangerous. So, yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, well, best of luck for tomorrow on finals day. So yeah. it'll be a good contest tomorrow come the final. Happy days. Well, a great kickoff uh, to the second half as far as the naked pandas go. Right down into the corner, five meter scrum. Well, pressure's on for the Renegades on their own line. They've gone to the back. Be a big number four, Fair, Fairweather, collected well. Struggling to get the ball out, it's a bit tight. Trying to go wide, and off the deck. That's Bell. Again, trying to pick out that long pass. Just uh, a little bit broken up now, and as comes Dugard, Dugard. Goes through for the score. Well, they couldn't quite find a hole, but he managed to pick one out in the end. Absolutely. Came from deep, ran straight, and uh, went perfectly between the two defenders. Looks quite pleased with himself. Well, he's a, I'm sure you won't mind me saying he's a, he's a big unit, but he's got some speed as well. Successful conversion attempt there. But that extends the Naked Pandas lead to 17 points. A really good tactic there, running at the referee. And as he moved out of the way, a bit more space was created. So good vision from Dugard. Two games left to go after this one to conclude day two of the Rugby Spy Ibiza 10s for 2018. Just the remaining pool fixtures to go. Much better take this time by the Renegade. Their 
Captain Reyes going through. Needing some support on the near side. Crashed up. Well popped up off the floor. They've got the pace to go all the way. They're about to give away a penalty on the floor for holding on. So the referee going back to previous penalty saying full advantage had not been taken. Spin back, take it uh, back into the same corner. Nobody knows quite where the ball is. Hands in the ruck, says the referee. A good kick to touch by Dugard. Inside the Renegade rugby half. Captain there topping. Managed to bring 21 players over with them this weekend. Clean line out. Knock forward. So scrum down to Renegade Rugby. to hold on to this lead it will be the naked pandas first win of the tournament renegade rugby still searching for theirs looking for the switch no a little touch though they're just not accurate enough when they're doing these sort of moves you've got to be accurate and uh, at that point they were desperate to get something moving with a switch of direction instead of actually concentrating on the pass Eyes went to where he might get to in the end. Well, excellent field position for the Naked Pandas to try and extend their lead. Need a big scrum, crumbling slightly against the Renegade forces. Trying to go on their own. Marco stepping again. Can he go? And he's gone all the way. Well, fleet of foot there was Marco, number 30. The scrum half picking and going on his own. Yeah, he's looked uh, really lively as Marco Wright in this match, uh, showing a good turn of pace. And he started all that by shaking off his opposite number. Conversion good as well. So now a commanding lead, it really is. Can't believe there's time for uh, Renegade Rugby to get back into this. Good solo try. Typical scrum half try. They're warming up for the next match. That's the uh, Wooden Spoon Anti-Assassins. tackle penalty given can renegade rugby capitalize on this maybe they can indeed number 12 cuts around the outside cuts back inside and this time makes it the first try for renegade rugby in this game well that was a lovely individual effort Certainly. Thomas Letch uh, who really enjoyed that I think the way the handshakes were going it was a bit sort of self congratulatory almost but why not really enjoyed it here he goes 
around the outside, realizes he hasn't got the pace to go all that, cuts back, beats his man again, and uh, pure joy. It was a lovely try, and I think the crowd enjoyed that one as well. Quickly taken. Referee just consulting. I think that was again about whether it had travelled the, the 10 metres. But it certainly had. Lovely long pass that time. It had real zip on it. Oh, and that's what gave the the space and uh, Duggard in under the posts. <laughs> Not too exhausted, but I'm just going to enjoy the moment, he says. But uh, that was a couple of superb passes set that one up. If you are going to do missed passes, they need to be delivered at speed and straight into the running line of the recipient. There we are, all over, terrific uh, victory for Naked Panda. In the end, going well clear, and that final score, Naked Pandas 31, Renegade Rugby 7.